Still watching Pride Morning, and uh, like we told you earlier, we did promise you that uh, it's Ghana Month, and of course, we ought to talk about our traditions. My name is Roslyn Feli. It's here to all. You know, what we're about to discuss is something that I've been yearning to learn. I've been yearning to learn a lot when it comes to the God twin birthrights. What is the reason behind? What's the history behind it? Because, you know, in some societies here in Ghana, having twins is like an anomaly. And so uh, it looks like there are certain rights that need to be performed when you have twins. Mm. And so today we are going specifically to the Ghanas. What exactly do they do? Mm -hmm. yes. It's quite special, I must say. <laughs> and, uh, you know, twins are special. Yeah. We wish to have twins uh, all yes. the time. Yes. I think it's almost every parent's who dream to have twins. So those who get twins Very are true. always a bless. <laughs> to help us with this conversation is a man who knows so much about the Ghana tradition. Ni Ade Mpa. Ni, good morning. Do your thing. Ufane wa yo jokba. Amen. 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 Um, we sold you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sold. You've been sold to the gods. Sold to the gods. <laughs> well, um, I, let's start off with understanding what the Ghana tradition really is, especially yeah. where the Ghana's hail from. And that is how we'll be able to understand the whole, you know, twin rights celebration. And when we say Gamia or Gans, they migrated from present day Egypt, between Egypt and Israel. I think there was a fight between the Israelites and the Egyptians. So they have to move from there through the Nile River, settle somewhere in Ethiopia, from there migrated through Congo down to uh, Egypt, uh, back again to, they, they, were, they were on the Nile River. So they were moving through where the Nile River was. Then from there, they settled all the way from Congo, then to Nigeria. Then from Nigeria, they moved back then to present-day Ghana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Ghana are Nigeria. Egyptians and Israelis? Yes. Ah. Oh. But they are the, the black Jews. When they talk about the black Jews, oh. Ghana are part of the black Jews. Somewhere settled also moved back to Abyssinia, mm. which is uh, present-day Ethiopia. And is that why you have a place in Accra called Abyssinia? Yeah. Oh, makes sense. And we have names which are replication of the Egyptian names or Jewish names. Like which okay. ones? Like Ammon, okay. Ashai. Okay. And these are all names written in the biblical testament. You know, I, I was I was thinking for a very long time. I used to hear um, as some Ashantis and some girls will say that, oh, Ashantis are from Israel, and then girls will try to banter it out and say that, no, we are rather from Israel, but I never really understood. Initially, all black people came from that source. Oh. And so, reading present day migration, and they just spread across different places. Right. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, okay, so now that we understand that Gans are Egyptians and Israelis, Israelis. Yeah. now we can talk about <laughs> how the twin rights came about. Yeah. Initially, the twin rights was not part of the Gan cultural setup because they were then seen as abnormalities or heel heads. Mm. So they were killing them. When you give birth to twins, they will kill them mm. because they were then seen, they were seen as a, a taboo. Why? Because we are supposed to have one. Why do you have two? Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So the ten around came. The ten around came when the Deng Bisi Manche. 
in Gamma, she will have seven quarters mm. made up of Asene, Otublo, English, Alata, CMP, Abula. So this formed the seven quarters of Gamashi. And one of the chiefs over there by name, New Kanja, mm -hmm. the first. Before New Kanja ascending the throne of Bisi, he was then used an exchange, the collateral, the exchange of gunpowder from the Dutch to fight the Aquamus mm -hmm. in the year between 1730 and 1733. So he gave birth to very vigorous and identical male twins. Being having love and compassion for these children, it was not pleasant for the children to be killed. So he have to connive with his uh, kinsmen, savages men, and some of his guys around to abscond with the babies to present the central region. So it was there that they were living there. It was providing them with shelter, security, and until a time came when they wanted, uh, they became teenagers. Mm. So they, went, they wanted to come back and come and visit their, who their father was. They want to see their father. So when they came, the day they arrived in Gamashi was on Friday, mm -hmm. a day before the climax of the Omoa festival. Mm -hmm. So it was there when they had a series of, a series of consultation with the deities and that of the ancestors of the land. Mm -hmm. So it, later it was revealed to them that the killing of twins must be stopped. Mm, okay. Because when they came around, they were being loved by all the traditional leaders around, the various traditional leaders within the that traditional area. Mm -hmm. So it was there that uh, the, the, the oracle said to them, stop killing the twins and replace it with a young festival by rewarding them with a young festival. Oh. That's how the twin festival came into being. Okay, so no more killing of the twins, but rather yeah. the gods were accepting the yams yes. instead of the blood sacrifice. Yes. Ah. Mm. So the right. gods said, the gods said, the gods or the deity said, prepare yam or replace the killing of the twins yes. with the yam festival yes. to reward them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's come then to uh, how the whole rites happens. Is it something that happens from birth, right? When uh, a woman gives birth and then it's two babies. How does it take place? What exactly goes so on? So now that the, uh, uh, the system, uh, the uh, the, it has been accepted, mm -hmm. the first time they came from uh, present day central region mm -hmm. to Gamashin, mm -hmm. they prepared a leaf. It was a 14 species of leaf. But right now, because of urbanization, they couldn't have all the leaves now. Okay. So it is limited to seven. Uh -huh. So these leaves were prepared as a means of, then the libation were, were poured on these leaves as a means of purification or to cleanse them. Uh -huh. So by right now, in modern time now, when you give birth to twins, mm -hmm. what happens is they first have to, they go back to do a series of consultation with the deities to find out their mission here on earth, what they, can, what, what they are here to do on earth, the do's and don'ts, what they like and what they don't like. Mm. Okay, okay. The parents of the twins, yeah. they go behind the scene to do this series of consultations, consultations. Okay. to find out the children that are being given to them. Mm. Because if they believe, now it is now accepted and believe that twins have some special, or they believe they have some special spiritual blessing, yeah. bless, blessing and characteristics. Mm. Okay. So when they arrive, uh, when do they actually go do this consulting? Do they do it the first day they arrive or they do it, they have like a day? Because you have the Kojemo, mm -hmm. and Kojemo is what, one, the f first week, right? The first the, one week, week exact yeah, week. Yes. Is that a day that they do the consultation? Immediately they are born, then they have to go and do that consultation. Before Kojemo? Before Kojemo, they have to go and consult them first. Okay. They consult them spiritually. Okay. Okay, so they consult them spiritually, and then the gods will tell them what they have to do with, you know, with regards to the twins that have been born, right? Yeah. Okay, right. And uh, also, um, so what's the name of the festival? The name of the festival is called Aji and Yele Yeli. Huh? Aji. Aji. Aji means twins. Okay. Then Yele Yeli is uh, the young festival. Oh, okay. oh Yele Yeli. Ah, Yele. Yele. Yele means yam. And eating. Yes. Oh. Yele Yeli. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, the day they arrived, it was accepted that they have to use yam 
because the day uh, after that one is the Omo, which is Omo is on Saturday, mm -hmm. and Omo is a corn festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most deities and stews in Gamashi during their feast, they use yam to celebrate their feast. Stews and deities within the Gamashi enclave or Gandangri setup, mm. they use yam. Right. Now, we are still on uh, this uh, conversation with regards to the twin festivals that are celebrated by the Gas in, you know, Greater Accra region. Of course, it's not every tradition or it's not every tribe that celebrates it, but the Ga actually have a special celebration. And so they treat them so well. Uh, the, how do we call twins in Ga? Ajin. Ajin. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when, Penye is what? We have, so when they are meal, they are two meals. Two meals. Mm -hmm. Identical meals, whether they're identical or not. We say akwete. Akwete. And akwete. Akwete. Okay. Akwete and akwete. All right. And the female aspect is akwele and akwoko. Okay. But when they are on both sex, we say uku. Oko, oko means is the only meal, the only one. Oko will be. Okay. 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 So oko. And the, 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 the female one is Aquili. Oh, yeah. okay. So Oko and Aquili, Aquiti, Aquiti. So every Oko is a twin? Yeah, every Oko is a twin. Oh, wow. I never knew. Yes, every Oko is a twin. Okay, now let's talk about what actually happens yeah. during the celebration. So during the celebration, that's why I said previously, first they have to go and do this consultation. Mm -hmm. Yes, so after this consultation has been done, on the D day of celebration, the first person who have to do this, perform this rite is the Nai Ulomo. The Nai Ulomo is the chief priest of the Gan state. He does his own first before any Gan household can also start from. Mm. They have to do this, yes. So with the Nai Ulomo, to, before that, they have to go and uh, we have this species of leaf. They prepare them in a traditional basin, which is called the Chisi. Is that what's on the screen? Yeah, exactly, the traditional basin, but it's made up of wooden pot. Okay. But right now, because it's expensive and they can't get, they can use maybe this aluminium one. Yeah. Or, uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. They can. So, 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 what are they doing? They are bathing uh, uh, some dummies in there. Yeah. So these are the purification method. The leaves in there. Mm -hmm. So they they add all these ingredients or these traditional herbs into made up of the nyanina, the hiamba, yeleba. Which is the seven leaves, types of leaves you mentioned earlier. Ex exactly. Okay. So they put them in the basin, they pour libation on it, mm. recite various, all the canticles on okay. it. Then they have to cut the fowl. When they cut the fowl, the fowl have to lie back, which is being, it has been accepted by the deities. Mm. If, it, it been, if it lies on the bare chest, then it means they have not been accepted yet. So oh. they have to continue, cut another one too. Until it lies on the back. Uh, yes. Then you know that it's accepted by accepted the gods. By, yes. I see the fowl behind the lady. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so this is the, when... A, so that's the fowl. So what do they do the, with the blood of the fowl? They have to put it inside there. They, they, they just put a small drop inside the, the, the traditional list that they have been prepared. Okay. But in some houses, they don't do that. Why? That's where I say, I previously I say, when they are being born, uh, the, uh, the twins are born, they consult them. Okay. So it's the, the spirit of the twins, who, which is going to direct them what to do, the oh. do's and don't. Okay. okay. We like this, we don't like this, we don't like so that. Some twins might not like the, the head. They, they, they will still like it, but they will not tell you to put it inside, inside the, okay, the, 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 the basin. Yeah. Uh -huh, or the traditional concussion mm. that is being set up. Uh -huh. Okay. What do and, the dummies stand for? Yes. So when they are born, after uh, the, uh, the series of consultation, uh, the consultation is being held, the first ram which is being caught, they use the the uh, the own. Mm -hmm. It is the own which is being shared to them. They share the horn of yes. the ram. Uh, so the, to, to the twins. Yes, it represents the uh, the, the first initiation. Oh. Some two doesn't use on, they use the dummies. Ah. <laughs> so the dummies that you see represent the engine, the Oko and Aquili, or Aquete mm -hmm. and Aquete. Mm -hmm. And some two, when they cut the ram, the ones to represent the twins. The twins. So we say yeah. Anji and Koji. So when, be... when they are done with this, do they give the dummies to the parents to keep? Yeah, they keep them. They have some wooden structure, a small wooden shelter where they put them in. 
and they wrap it with a nice calico and they go and place it inside maybe a compound house or the traditional house or their but room. It make it a god then. So every year, that's what they believe in, which you cannot not take away from them. Mm. Ah. Yes, that so it's is not their like belief. A shrine. Not a shrine per se, but this is their belief. This is what we believe in. And this is what we have been accepted to. Okay. Mm. Yes. Wow. So they go and worship it every year? No, they, yes, so every year they have to bring it and go and come and buy, do this purification method mm. for them. And they'll go and after that, they'll send it back. So how long does the rites go on for? So they leave this earth? Yes. Every year till yes. they die? Yes, till they die. Some, some do it till they die. But some, when at, a, at a point in time, mm -hmm. they can go and go back and consult the deities. Oh, we are tired or oh. we are, or oh, maybe we want to end up here. So we are going to do it for the last time. Oh. Yes, and maybe then do. That's why they are serious of, of consultation. We mortal human beings cannot. I cannot de demystify all yeah. these processes here. Mm. So in a situation where as time goes on or as the years go by, maybe the horns or the, the dolls that were used, maybe one gets out of place somewhere, one gets missing or something. Do you easily replace it? Is it easy to replace them? Yes, but... That's why, that's why you have to go back again and go and do this consultation consultations. first. Yes. And just be sure. And so after the consultation, it will give you directions to do. Mm. I see. I'm just wondering, you know, uh, let me start off with the consultation and then we, I go into my next question. The consultation, if they go consult and they say that the child's future is not that bright, what do you do? Or the child is, you know, a child that does not belong you know, or will not live long. What do you do? That's why in every society, there are some things that need to be pacified. They need to pacify the gods. So they have to maybe, through that, another direction can be, can be given to them. They, oh, no, we know this child cannot live long. So these are some of the things that you have to do A, B, C, D okay. for the child to survive. Mm. Yeah, because they believe, they, they, it is believed that twins have some kind of uh, spiritual background which no human no means as in how. Mm. What if you're a Christian? Yes. Now or you I, find Christ on the way? Yes. So <laughs> I know some IG or uh, twins which they don't do that because they were born typically into a Christian home and they think uh, it is not right for them to do these things. So their appearance, initially, when they were growing, per se, they don't do this, they don't go through these rituals. But what if, what if I started, you know, believing in this and along the way I found Christ? I've also seen another kind of uh, situation like yeah. that. So what happens? You, do you still go to the deity to tell the deity, um, I found Christ and so I can't come no. right again? No, so, so they also take directions through from the church and the church will tell them what to do. Wow. Either to abandon them or to go and throw them away or... I see. I, and, and this is quite interesting, I must say, Sidua, because, yeah. um, like I said, it's not every, uh, you know, society that practices the same thing. So it's quite... Um, it tells us that traditions are quite diverse. Yeah. And every tradition is beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the question that you asked, I wonder if it will be easy for the family to accept. I guess you're you twins, you find Christ along the line like Rosalind mentioned, would it be that easy for the family to say we are going to, it's not easy? Even from a typical yeah. uh, traditional okay. society, because they will tell you, also, you know, at a point in time when you are facing difficulties mm. in life, they will tell you, you know, you're supposed That's to the reason why. That's the reason why you are facing this predicament and yeah. things are not going well with you. Mm -hmm. I know some parents too, when they give birth to instead of going through this ritual, they abandon it. Mm -hmm. And later on, the man started drinking and there was a consultation. They said it is the twins which, the rights which they abandoned as causing all this predicament. Okay. So they have to go back and go and do it. And whether it stop or not, these are uh, the belief. Of okay. the so, so these are some of the consequences. Yes. Right. So the steps are you go consult, mm -hmm. you go ahead and start the right where they, they put all these things in the pan and all the bath and the, the dummies. 
and then what's next? So after that, then they prepare a mash yam, which we call the otto, on that very day. Then they have to share the otto with the egg. Oh, the that's egg. where the otto came from? Yes. Mm. So the otto, the otto mostly are food for the, the day, gods. Day, yes. But normally they do the one that they mix with the red oil and they mm. do the one which they don't mix with the red oil. Mm. Yeah. So, so people don't, who don't know, for the sake of people who don't know, they will be wondering if otto is the same as pepe. No, otto is different from pepe. Okay. Otto is prepared with mash yam. Why people is prepared with corn. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. the egg that you see also is start, standing for fertility. Yeah. Mm. Because, because so during this uh, festival, people come to have a covenant with them. Oh, really? Yes, people come to have a covenant with them that, oh, I'm not working, things are not going well with me. So as I bath this water, I go by next year, by this time, there should be a victory in my life. I should also have uh, twins, I want to have twins like you people, okay. and they put a small token in. Ah. Yes. And this money is for the children? Is it for the twins or is it for...? It's for the spirits. So who takes the money? I said the spirits, but yeah, who takes where, the money? When they, when they have eye currency, they remove those eye currency inside, leaving the coins. When they are going to throw the, 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 oh. the, the, the traditional distance away, the herbs away. Oh. Right. Ah. And normally they are thrown away at a place we call them Krotia, the beginning of the town and the end of the town. When we are coming into the town, it becomes as an ent entrance. But when we are going, it becomes an exit. Mm. So every town that you see, we have what we call Krotia. When we are coming into the town, or being ushered, ushered into the town, that's the beginning, the main point where you enter. And you, like a gate, you have a gate. Yeah. If you're exiting, you pass through the gate. Yeah. And you are coming to, you pass through the gate. Yeah. So that's where they dispose it. They dispose it. Okay. So this whole uh, right, uh, does it protect or shield the twins in any way from, let's say, evil eyes or from bad health? Does it do that? Yes. That is why I said it is their belief. This is what we believe in. Okay. Which you cannot take it away from them okay. because it is believed that anything that goes wrong with them, because they are not doing something right or they are not doing something wrong uh, mm. on the right direction. That is why they are facing these difficulties. Mm. So they do a series of consultation. Mm. Okay. And the herbs that you see, they also sound for both spirituality and that of medicinal purposes. Right. Like the nyangina per se. Is used in the first aid treatment of malaria, diarrhea, and fever. But when it comes to spirituality, they drag away, they drive away negative energy. Exactly. So I hear they why. speak. Do they speak? Which? Nyanina. I hear they, they have a voice. Yes. So there are people, there are people who study spirituality who speak with them. As mere mortal human beings, like we don't have those highs mm. to. Mm. That's why when you are going to plug those leaves, you speak with them and you put a small token down. Mm -hmm. And they have days that you, days that you have to. Wow. Okay. okay. So let's, let's take a look at what's on the screen. Um, we just want to know what is happening. Um, is this where they are going to dispose of the... Exactly. So okay. this is where they are going to dispose of the, the traditional set up or the leaves, the herb, or the some say concussion. Yes. So they are being led by maybe either a volunteer. This uh, the carriers are all volunteers from the various Oh they are not twins. They are not twins. The twins doesn't carry the herbs. Also oh, they are volunteers. Yes. Are they um a comfort? No, they what? are not a comfort. But they are possessed. They look yes. possessed. They are volunteers from the various family where the twins are. Ah, okay. Yeah. So what you see, this lady maybe is a volunteer. You see the tradition, the one is carrying, it's a wooden okay. one. Okay. That's the natural one, we call it the chisi. Okay. Before later on, if you can't afford to buy, then you can use the aluminium, aluminium one. Aluminium, yeah. yeah. But traditionally, they were using the chisi. And they paint it white just to protect that one. But how did they become possessed? Why are they possessed? Yeah. So as soon as, because they believe that there's a kind of some spirits, once once uh, the libation is being poured, is being poured, uh, or the, uh, uh, the eye priest has consecrated the leaves, there's kind of what we call transubstantiation, moving from the physical state to the spiritual state. Mm. 
So it is believed that there is kind of some spirituality behind it. So once libation is poured and is carried into your head, there is kind of some spirit that has entered you. Mm. And then it becomes possessed. Yes, it becomes possessed. So when you pour it, then the spirit leaves. When you pour it, the, the one leading the delegation who is, who is having the drink, he will tell the spirit, we are done with you too. So you should, so if you leave everything that is done, we beg you, go to where you are coming you from. Leave immediately. Then Wow. But, but some but, spirits too are stubborn. Mm, I, I'm just, the, the spirits, some are stubborn, eh? Some are very stubborn. They stay? They stay. Well, like, you know, no, they stay permanently, but in terms of possession, when they are returning back, they can even see another spirit and fight, fight them. Hmm? So it becomes a physical fight? Not a, phys a physical fight, but there is kind of spiritual, uh, be spirituality behind it. Oh. Hmm. So this is where they are moving to, where we call, we call this place in Poeno. It's around the Timor Market area, called Kolewako side, mm. near the Galaway, Richard Akwe Memorial Temple School. Uh -huh. So as they are going, it's been accompanied with drumming and singing. Right now it has been kind of, they have some fashion behind, some take dress like police officers, some dress like musicians, some dress like like, they kind of add some kind of taste to it. So it's become like a carnival, like a, a festival? Yes, a carnival. Okay. So there's kind of a strong possession okay. with it. Okay. <laughs> so if we may know, those that volunteer themselves, what the spirit leaves, doesn't it leave some sort of repercussion on them? Because spirit, you have allowed yourself for spirit to come and possess your body. So that's why I said, when libation is reported, that thing goes away. Okay, now we are looking at what is on the screen. Mm -hmm. We see that they pour it, and then people are actually rushing for something in there. What they are, are they picking? They are rushing for the coins. Those small boys are around are rushing for the money in there. To use it for what? Uh -huh. There's no spiritual implication? No, there's it? no spiritual implication. You oh. can use it to go and buy anything that you want. That's why they are standing there. Oh, right okay. So it's just, they just want the money? The money. Ah, I thought maybe there was a reason for picking. No, no, no. no. Oh, the okay. Money. Oh, okay, okay. It becomes okay. like something like Sadaka. Ah, uh -huh. okay. But so, okay, um, let's go back to the, uh, the stubborn spirits, mm -hmm. right? So the ones that do not leave, what then is done to make the spirit leave? Uh -huh. So when they came back, then there has to be another series of consultation uh -huh. with the deities. Okay. It's quite interesting, uh, you know, with okay. what we are watching, because wow. it's my first time. Yeah. I've, I've, I've yeah. actually seen um, excerpts of Twin Festival, but I haven't seen the details of it like this before. Yeah. And so it's very educating, I must say, to see what we are seeing this morning. So the yam, who eats the yam? The yam. The to, who eats it? Every, every, any normal person who attend the, the festival will eat some of the otto. Uh -huh. And who eats the egg? The eggs. They, they, they'll give you both the otto and the egg. Okay. Uh -huh. They give you two things. They give you otto, they give you egg. Mm. Once you are there, once, once you're you present are there, and you want to eat you it. You want to eat it. It's okay. not for anything that they force you, but it's willingly. Mm. Uh -huh. They'll give you the otto. Normally, they, 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 they make it in a round form. Uh -huh, like um, something like a round form, then they will just give it to you. Then, or maybe they can put it inside a plate with the egg. Then they will give it to you. Okay. Right now, even some put it in the takeaway to go and take it to their workplace, and people also hey. enjoy it. Wow. Yeah. They go and take the food from. <laughs> uh, no things. People work. don't have fear. No, it doesn't have any spiritual any implication. Sp I see. If you pray over it, you can eat it. That's why you can enjoy it. Oh. Are you praying over the food? It doesn't have. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have. Any. <laughs> <laughs> so the, even the fowls which uh, are being sacrificed mm -hmm. later on, they use it for stews and. Hey! Uh, oh. and they, uh, the fowl oh, for the gods. Uh, no, it's not for the gods, but it's for the the ceremony. <laughs> so they don't throw it away. You can't throw it away. Even the 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 the, the goods, you don't throw it away. The, what they do is they prepare food with it. Some prepare even fufu and light soup and the people that they've invited them will come and enjoy with it. The fowl that either falls on the back or on the 
front, yeah, that front. same file. Yeah, I see. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Wow. Oh, okay. And at the same time, light soup with fufu. Nice. Which you can enjoy it. I'm sure it has, it ends up having a different taste from the regular ones they cook at home. Oh, it's the same taste. Uh, and this one, you have people coming from the various, maybe if they have families, maybe it's around Adarbanka, yeah, yeah, Amasa yeah. Man, they all come around to come and help cook this. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Right, right. Anyway. Yeah. So um, I, I would want us to touch on um, the preparations that the twins have to go through before the festival. But it seems we have some uh, comments, Rosalind. Mm, uh, I think we I think don't. can read it better because yeah. I'm not too Okay. Uh, so this one says, please, so is the twin festival for the Gans or the Gardangbis? Yeah, so these are twin festival for the Gans, but the celebration also differ from that of Usu. Let me see, when you go to uh, Ingamashi, mm. the festival is only done for uh, on Friday, it's only once, but also they have a period for it. It could take, let me see, before or previously, like within a month, mm -hmm. depending on the financial background of the parents of the twins. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone says, please, that's my husband. Regards from Adelaide Mensa. <laughs> to Nia uh, he said, She says you're a true historian. Yes. <laughs> Are you a twin? I'm not a twin. Okay. But I've been following the rights for quite a long time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do they have a, uh, a right for the child born after twins? No, no, no. The teria. No, we don't. How, how do you call it in Ghana? Tyria. Call Tyria. Ta 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 oh. We say Tyria. Then okay. from Tyria, then we have the Agu. Okay. Then the Abang. Okay. I see. Okay. Um, all right, next one. He says, oh, she continued by saying, please tell him I love him. Greetings. Age. Okay. <laughs> There's love brewing up mm. in here. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, Ni, uh, I mentioned that the preparations that the twins have to go through before the ceremony itself, what do they do? Do they have to do something to their bodies? Do they have to take in something? What exactly goes on? Oh, no, they don't have to take, they don't take in something. But okay. So on the D-Day, they, what they, they apply on their body is clay. Okay. white clay in terms of to preserve the body and they put a beast on their hand both black and white bees signifying a uh, child born and death because in Ghana we believe when you come you come with the black hair and you go with the white hair mm. okay yes so it signifies life and death yes the black and white the black and white okay. then the white that you see them put signifies the purity we talk okay. about purity and victory anything victory stand for white. Mm. Mm. Do you have anything like this for triplets, quadruplets? It's the same thing. Oh, so they can join? They can also join. So they're also Angian. So we call them Bukutaiya. It's like a repetition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you are triplets? Yes. Okay. So the third one is Tawia. Yeah. Out of the triplets? Bukutaiya. Bukutaiya. So if you are Tawia. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's quite interesting. So for uh, those who want to conceive twins, mm -hmm. when they get there, like you said, they will give some sort of money to the twins. Yes. And then what do they do? But do they, they conceive after that? Some do it. Some get some get twins uh, by practicing this or going through. So you said through. they give money and what else do they do? They give money. Money is only money. Mm -hmm. So they, they go in the bath with the water and have a covenant with them. Oh, next year by this time also want to conceive twins. Uh -huh. they or have a chance, so they bath with the water. Do you have, like, does it have to be both, uh, you know, mother, father that have to bath? Or it, not necessarily. It could can be the, the mother go. can do, the okay. man can also do. Okay. On behalf of the family. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Because it is believed that uh, in Ghana culture, the egg stands for fertility. That's why they even add some of the egg into the, the traditional basin. Did they swallow the egg? They don't swallow it. Okay. Yes. You can chew it. You can. No, that egg, they wouldn't dump that egg away. That's, a, that's the one they dump. But what about the one with the yam? That one you swallow? That, no, you don't swallow. We so eat it. Eat it well. uh, okay. So they cook that one. So they have a special meal. On that day, they have a special meal they do for the day. And the special meal they serve the people. The people. Okay. Uh, so after everything has been done in the house, then they will sweep everything in the compound and put it inside the, the, the traditional basin before they will go and dump it. 
Okay. It's like they are carrying all yeah. the, the, the spirits, the luck and everything, and they are going to dump them. When you say, earlier, you, you mentioned they bath the water. Yes. When you say bath, do you mean like they just fetch some, apply on their face, their hands, yes. or they pour it? No, 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 fetch no, no, pour. no, no. It's like a normal cleansing, going mm -hmm. through a cleansing process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not like necessarily going and bath with them. Yeah. I know some wives who has also been accepted into the Ghana traditional system. Uh, okay. Yes, they are twins. Some are from Canada, some are UK. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So they normally also come in, practice this same system. Okay. And when they are not here, we normally, uh, they will send money, they will do it, and we will normally pour the small, some, apply some small water into uh, a vortex bottle and send it to them. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so like, not necessarily bath, but like you apply it like, going through some kind of ablution. Right, yeah. right. But with them, there is no way that they could be possessed by the gods or by the No, no. No way. Yes. Your situation is different. You are going there to ask for mm -hmm. something. Mm. Yes. Mm. The possession only comes in when they are going to. To. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's quite interesting. So what we just discussed, which part of Ghana practices that particular one? It, it cut across Gandangwe. What we just spoke yes, about. But it differ, yes, it differs. Yes, it differs between the various Ghana nations. Okay. When you go to Teshin, you also have maybe even though there's kind of similarities mm. across them. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we have some comments. Uh, this one says, as a father of two beautiful twin girls, I find this conversation interesting. Chrissy Reynolds in Agona Odobing. Thank you very much for that one. Next one. Um, okay. This one says, will there be any problem to the twins if I don't do anything to them? Is it true? If I don't get the terrier, my twins will die? Is it true? Is no, it true? it's not true. Oh. It's not true. Okay. I've only seen only twins, Aku and Akuete and Akuli, and, and that's the only child they, mm. they manage to give birth to. So. Oh. Okay. All oh, right, and this is a yearly thing. It happens every year. It happens every year. But then as, as time goes on, you can choose to say, do the consultation and say that I am tired. I don't want this to continue anymore, so it should stop. So what if you go and the God says that you have to continue? That's another issue, <laughs> which we have to ask the deities why they said they should continue. Hmm. Mm. Very interesting. Because there are some things, me and me, I'm more than you, mommy. Yeah. Uh, are, it's not everything I can, I can demystify on air. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, assuming we have twins here, yeah. like they are supposed they can tell us much. Much. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I think we should invite some callers in there because sometimes what we do the questioning, you might have a question at home that you want to ask. And uh, so, Send me your messages. Messages are coming in, but let's activate the phone lines and let's hear from the horse's own mouth. Ask your questions. It's easier to answer all the questions. Uh, very educating, I must say. Quite intriguing. Uh, cultures are different. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's something very. Else. So do, do, do send in your message or call us. Actually, the phone line is activated, especially if you're a twin. Share your thoughts on this with us, okay? What do you think about the beautiful twin tradition or twin festival that happens right here in Greater Accra? Pardon me, I'm actually glued to the video that we are showing on our video uh, on our TV over here. So it's like, Rosalie told me talking and my face is elsewhere. I'm actually glued to what's happening. Yeah, I'm I glued see, to it as yeah, well. I see some of the youth holding uh, sticks, cutlasses and all that. Why? That's why I said right now they are attached to this kind of, it's more of a um, carnival. Uh. Yeah. You see, various groups of various fashion within the Gamashi enclave, they all follow suit and they, like they want to entice the, the, yeah. Yeah, okay. the kind of oh, some carnival use structure. Calabash. Yes, it's uh. also allowed. Okay. Mm, some use calabash, some use... The chisi. Okay. Mm. So what is the woman doing right now? She put her foot on She's the calabash. She's a priestess, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so it's going to pour libation. Okay. So all that we did, we have come to dump it here. Yes. Let's say by this time we hope everything should be well for us, then we will leave 
So we see they are getting the yeah, coins. Yeah, the coins. Uh, the coins. Yeah. Yes, uh, so okay. these are part of the carnival aspect. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. All right. The carnival, so, the music aspect, the artistic mm -hmm. impression of the okay. the festival. I saw something though when the chief, when the priestess, uh, after she was done, she threw the calabash. Yes. What, what does that signify? Some they don't want to retain anything. Oh. Okay. That's why I said before. Uh, the festival, they will have to do a series of consultations mm -hmm. with the twins. So they are going to give the direction. Mm. After we did, don't retain anything. Okay. Don't bring something back to the house yeah. again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. This is very interesting. So is there a proper celebration that is that happens after this whole rites is done? Oh, after that, then they will go back and do and and the making, the parks, <laughs> the food, the rest. The beer bars. Yeah. The, uh, okay. The so apart from the beads that you said that they wear, the beads, do they have to wear their whole life? The black and white beads? Yeah, you have to wear it. It just go out. You have to you don't need to cut it with a blade, any scissors, so it can be batting within all of a sudden then. It will fall off. Fall off. So it's for protection, right? Or Not for protection per se, but it's part of the rituals. Okay. But do they have anything they give to them to wear for protection, twins? Maybe a bangle or something? No, 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 no. Nothing. Don't do it. No, don't do okay. Mm. All right. I think we should answer the call first, Isidua. Okay, we have a phone call. Okay. Mm. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Please, can you hear me? Okay, whilst we get that sorted out, we have um, some messages, so let me take this one. Uh, this twin rites are not only uh, done by Ga, the Fantis also do that, which we call Teri Teria Abam. I hope I, see, got, I nice. got it right. Okay. Teria Abam. Abam. Okay. Okay. Next one. Mm. Hi, good morning. Please, I'm Justina from Ejoso. Please, I want to ask, is this tradition only for twins? What about triplets and quadruplets? Uh, Rosalie asked that, and that question has been answered. Mm -hmm. Yes, that yes, it is done for them as well. Mm. Actually, yeah. they have to join the twin festival. They have to, yeah, so they, have they join, don't have yeah. triplets festival, yeah. not yeah, quadruplets yeah, 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 festival, yes. but they join the they twin join. festival. <laughs> so um, Black was on the line. I don't know if Black is still there. Hello, Black. Okay, Black, when do you... Uh, please try and call us back so you can ask your question or contribute towards this program. I, 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 I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, um, is, there, is there an age limit to it? No, it doesn't it's have any. Yeah. So you have to be done, it can be done. Uh, it can be done, it's maybe, maybe if one so pass like away, you know, then so. uh, maybe one can pass. I know some things who are, one is in, in his 90s, but the other lady has passed away. And he still does it? So that so, but right now because of financial constraints, when you read that, they will just pour libation. Oh, because you are not here, mm. you can't do it. So wherever you are, may your soul rest in peace. Then we have a caller. Okay. I said, I think you should answer that call. Hi, good morning. If you can hear me, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, talk to us. What question do you have? Okay. I am, my siblings are twins, eh? and then, I, yeah, um, from us, we are from the car, um, we are from the Dangi. So, we are twins, but I'm not a twin, and I'm the oldest. But then, when they were going to do the traditional rites for them, they added me. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, I want to ask, is that also right? Okay, okay, okay. Because you are the one. Dindem. Oh. You right. are the head. So okay. once you, you are the head, you have to make sure that the right is being done in the proper way. Okay. That's why they added you. Okay, yeah. mm, quite interesting. What about the, the teria? Do they add teria too? Sometimes. Yes, yeah, sometimes. sometimes. Because they all take, when you have the teria, they all take part in the celebration. Okay. But okay. the main focus is on the, the, uh, the twins. Mm. Yeah. You said financial constraint earlier. Yeah. Um, does it mean that they have to pay to be a part of it? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Let me see. You don't have money anymore. Like what I said was, uh, we have twins in their old age, and when the one has passed away, and because of we don't have money, you can just pour libation. We pour libation. So 
right now because you don't have money. You know, you've gone and leave me. I don't have money, so I pray that wherever you are, may your soul rest in peace. And oh, uh, okay, it's like you do it on behalf of your twin. Yes. All right. So, as an adult, does it become your responsibility to pay for the rights to be done? When we can, yes. Okay. When we were kids, it's the parents it's that the parents that, uh, that do, uh, it. do it. And any time there's a death in the family too, they have to postpone it to maybe no more of years, like five years. There's a death. Yes, within oh. the if your parents, if I'm a twin, uh -huh. and my one of my parents pass away, uh -huh. we have to postpone the celebration. Mm. We call it Odo. Okay. Why? Because it is believed that calamity has befallen us, so we have to wait. Idea. Wow. Yes. Just in case somebody else passes. Yes. Ah. A close relative. Okay. Yes. Pass within the family. Mm. 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 Anyway, so I think we have a caller on the line. Hi, good morning. Hi there, can you hear me? Good morning. Please, how are you? I'm fine, you. We are doing awesome. Well, we can tell that you're listening to yourself on TV. Can you please mute it so we have a very smooth conversation, okay? Kindly mute it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, please, you have a train. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, okay. if we can call back, we'll be grateful because I think he had a question, but he didn't ask the question. So, uh, those of you at home who have a question for me, probably we have just about what. Um, two minutes to go, so yeah. maybe we can answer just one more call. And with this festival, too, we see during that day, that when we see the socio-economic impact of the festival, mm. because you have people who also invest in selling these leaves. Mm. Ah. Uh, so it becomes it's, a business. It's sold. Yes, it's sold. Okay. You have to go and buy it in the air from the egg seller yeah. to the red oil palm seller. The yam seller. The yam seller. Uh -huh. The pubs. Yeah. The one who said the calico. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, quite, okay. quite interesting. Anyway, mm. we have another caller in the line. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm blessed. Yeah. All no, right, great. Talk to us. Um, I'm saying. Uh, if there is a twin, mm. and then the twin has passed, and they are siblings, which is the aban, and then let's say they are both, do they still continue doing the tradition? Okay. So I wanted to know which one has passed. Is it aban or loco? No, the twin sister. The twin sister. The twin themselves. You know, the twin was born, the twin were born, and then one passed on. And then the second was, the second also passed on after some time. And then the, the Aban and the Agu, they still continue doing the, 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 right. the celebration. Okay. Uh, do they, is it important for them to still do that uh, this, the, 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 the celebration? Yes. So in this case, in this case, there are scenarios where it's not important. They can abandon it. Mm. Yes, because it's only celebrated uh, by the twins, mm. and they are the main spirit of this celebration. Mm. But because maybe, as, as, as I said earlier on, there are a series of consultation. Maybe when they died, they went and consult. They have been informed by their mm -hmm. uh, sisters or brothers to continue. The yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Quite interesting. Okay. okay. So the spirits can actually speak to yes. them. That don't stop. <laughs> so continue. They are, you have to go and consult. And consultation is done. But they are dead. The yeah, so they are dead. So, so whatever they tell you, you just go ahead and do it. And this is what they believe in. That's yeah. why I said this is what they believe in. Yeah. You can never wow. take it away from them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it might not be wrong that they are doing the rights on behalf yes. of the dead twins. Yes. Because I know people, when mm. the twins die, then it's mm. okay. They don't do it again. Mm -hmm. Once, because, because they are the main spirit of the yeah. celebration. Okay. So once they are dead, they are dead. Okay. Yeah. okay. But because they are born in terror, maybe they have gone behind the scene and the back end to 
do a consultation and they have been told to continue. Yeah. That's why they are still doing it. And not so hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I think we have another caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, please. What's your name? My name is Roberta. Okay, please talk to us. I'm a northerner and I'm married to a fancy guy. Okay. And we are having we are having peace. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please. Continue, Roberta. And so I'm just listening to your audition. I don't know. Are the fancies and the fancies they also do the same tradition as we are doing at Arabish. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it and now our twins they are about four years and we did not do that yet. Is it right for them to also take part of the some of the rituals as they are showing in Cali? Mm. Yeah, this festival is mostly basically for the Ghan traditional mm. area. I don't know what the Fantis also do at the end. Even okay. though maybe they may share similarities among mm. them. Mm. Yes. But what I know about the Ghan tradition system is what I'm here you to share. I'm sharing to you. Okay. Uh, All right. Like his own question was more of uh, the Fantis fancy, side. The Fantis yeah. side, which I may not probably know much about that mm. side. Roberta, I hope your question has been answered, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can still join us. I think we have a little bit of uh, um, time to answer some questions. Yeah. And so let's go to Ashaman and have a conversation with Belinda. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Talk to us. Okay. What's up? One, Please speak up a bit for us. It's a bit of a struggle to hear you. Okay. I wanted to ask, if one pass, one tree pass out immediately after death, would that right still continue? Mm. When one twin passes, will that still continue? Yeah, I think I've repeated this question. <laughs> <laughs> so what I, but it looks like that is uh, people's main focus. <laughs> yeah. So when there's a death like... They have to postpone, they have to put on hold on the, uh, mm -hmm. the rituals for some time. Yeah. Then, as time goes on, they have to go another behind the scene and go and, and consult, consult yeah. before whether you have to continue or uh, not. Okay, so we hope your question has been answered. It's quite a, it's quite a beautiful one, I must say. I've never been to any family mm -hmm. just yet. This year, when is it happening? So, it happens a day before the climax of the Moro Festival. Okay. So, okay. a Friday. It, it, Mostly happens on Friday okay. and Saturday is um, our festival. Oh, wow. okay. yeah, because the arrival of the twins by Dengam in the mm. Bisse Manche was on Friday. So which areas are we looking at having it this year? Maybe you, some of us will want to go there? They're mostly the Gamashi one. So the, this is basically the Gamashi one. Okay, so which area is this? So we have the Gamashi, that's why Gamashi is made up of seven quarters. Yes, so, so we have the Bisi, you could be in Bisi, Abula, Asene, Otublo, okay. Akangmaji. So like MP this can be like Choco? No. Choco, Choco is not Gamashi. Choco is not Gamashi. So this is like Osu? No, this is not Osu. Gamashi is, let me say, probably Jamestown. Uh -huh. Jamestown in Ashatown. Uh -huh. yeah, but the original name is James, uh, Gamashi. Okay, it so was Jamestown. The, uh, it was the Ashatown. colonial masters who the settlement, then they changed this place to, they changed their site where they were living, British, where they were living. To Jamestown. The name, Jamestown, where the Dutch were living, the name Dutch Accra. Okay, so where is Dutch Accra? Dutch Accra is busy, where they are, we have the Asher Fort. Oh! We have the, the Asher Fort, that area is Dutch Accra. Okay. It's made up of Bisi, Asine, Otublum, and Abola. Ah. And Jamestown is made up of uh, English Alata, where the Manchagona, the park is uh -huh, the lighthouse. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And St. Pete, they were living there. And we have even Dutch Accra. We have Danish Accra, which is Osu. Ah, uh, Danish Accra is Osu. Osu. <laughs> so Accra. Let's go on the line and have a conversation. Hi <laughs> there, good morning. Good morning. Kindly introduce yourself to us. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah. Hello. 
All good. All good. Oh, the rest were not so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a for calling. So you see how Accra was divided by the colonial masters. Mm. Also, yeah. so, so the Fantis are all part of Accra. Fantis, no, yeah. they are not. Part they are not. Of Accra. Okay. Yeah. Even so, though uh, we have some fighting immigrants who later came to settle in Accra. Okay. Like the Abura, they came. To, they came from Abura in the central region, uh -huh. but we call them here as Abula. Oh, okay. Mm. Bro. Danish Akra. <laughs> Osu. Osu is Danish Akra. Osu is Danish Akra. Because it's do, they, they, we have a lot of Denmark people there at that time. They do the, uh, the castle. Yeah. Ah. It, it was first started by the, the Swedish. Then they sold it to the Danish. The Danish. And they upgraded it to, it, at that time it was a lodge. Mm -hmm. Then they upgraded it to a fortress. Mm -hmm. Then later to become a castle. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the guard tradition is very beautiful. Yeah. All right, so another call on the line. Oh, okay. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I just want to first say I am enjoying watching Prime a morning. I am from the United States, but I'm just here. Oh, okay. I'm really enjoying every morning. I watch her show, and I'm particularly enjoying the guy historian giving right. information. I am an educator, and all this information is very vital, mm. very vital, and it should be uh, uh, included into the curriculum. Mm. So the traditions and the culture will be passed on. And again, I just really enjoy this information and learning more about the culture, the culture in. Uh, here in uh, Ghana. I'm from the I'm from the United States, mm. and I'm an educator, and I'm really enjoying so everything that I'm learning. I want to take you. You just you just love the culture. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Maya, thank, thank you so you. much for calling. And uh, you know, uh, one question that has come in uh, from one of the viewers wondering if the men have a different way of being celebrated as twins, and the women have different ways of being celebrated. Same celebration. Mm. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. What is being done from the mm. female is being done from the male. Mm. <laughs> Except, exception with the dressing. Okay. Do they actually have a style of dressing? No, now it has been fashionalized. They even so dress, you can even see somebody that they have some twins for them. Every year they bring in new styles. Okay. Yeah, I saw them, I saw their picture earlier on. Yeah. I wanted to bring them up, but it wasn't. <laughs> so, I see. Mm -hmm. So, and some I, of them are popular. Some of them are very popular. And I know one parent to who dress his children like a police officer, then the next time they will change it to maybe a legal oh, practitioner. Hey. Then the following year, will change to a, a medical doctor. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, wow. people, they are having fun with it. Exactly. Yeah. They but even go and, go and even Sorry. count. Yes, Patricia. <laughs> yeah, talk yeah. to us. Hello? Patricia, lower the volume on your television set for us, please. I'm from the center. Okay, please lower the volume on your television set. Okay. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about the, uh, the twins. Okay, talk to us. We have Kakra and Twins, and the following one is Tavia, and the following one is Abam. Mm -hmm. So, after, we also do the same tradition thing for them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's if great. We, yeah, uh, uh, the first right for Abam. Okay. So it okay. happens once a year. Oh, something like that. That's why. Yeah, but thank you so right. much for calling. Uh, to all our viewers that called today, we are very grateful. So, yes. I saw yes. the most. Uh, yeah. Okay. We okay. are the one of the most famous. Uh, so is uh, that? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. All right. So, Ni, uh, thank you so much for being here. It's thank been very you, educative. You, thank you, thank I've learned so much today, I must say. And uh, you're a true historian. Yeah. <laughs> Not quickly, before we go. So, I noticed something in the video. Uh, some of the uh, women who were carrying uh, the twins on their shoulders, they would touch the basing before. Why did yes. they touch it? So, during possession, uh -huh. 
yeah. maybe the one or they will see maybe an elderly woman or any person within the family uh -huh. who is also standing by or a passer by which maybe the spirit has move the person to go to that person. So when you read it, you just touch it. Touch it. Okay. Touch it oh, and okay. put maybe a token inside. Oh, there. okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. So this all time will permit us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with us right here on Prime Morning. We always say that we're bringing nothing but the best of everything that you need to be abreast with. My name is Estia Dua Komia and... Mine is Rosalind Feli. We'll be back again tomorrow <laughs> morning on your screens. And me, thank you once again yes, for being you. here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>